Cholesterol is a stable organic compound. The ring structure of cholesterol cannot be metabolized to carbon dioxide and water in humans. Therefore, the intact sterol nucleus is eliminated from the body by its conversion to bile acids. For the synthesis of bile acids, cholesterol undergoes hydroxylation to produce hydroxycholesterol. The enzyme used here is hydroxylase and cholesterol is converted to hydroxycholesterol. Now bile acids are formed from hydroxycholesterol after a series of reactions. Cholic acid and chenodeoxycholic acid are the primary bile acids produced from cholesterol. Cholic acid is a triol having three hydroxyl groups while chenodeoxycholic acid is a diol having two hydroxyl groups. In liver, cholic acid and chenodeoxycholic acid are conjugated with a molecule of either glycine or taurine forming glycocholic acid and glycochenodeoxycholic acid in case of glycine or taurocholic acid and taurochenodeoxycholic acid in case of taurine. These conjugated bile acids exist as sodium and potassium salts in the bile and they are called bile salts. Bile salts are more effective in their function than bile acids. They serve as an emulsifying agent in digestion and absorption of fats and fat-soluble vitamins in the intestine. A portion of bile salts undergo deconjugation and dehydroxylation in the intestine, forming secondary bile acids, which are deoxycholic acid and lethocholic acid. A small portion of bile salts is excreted in feces each day. The fecal excretion of bile salts is the only route for the removal of cholesterol from the body. Now coming to the second process of cholesterol clearance, which is vitamin D synthesis. 7-dehydrocholesterol is an intermediate in cholesterol synthesis, which is present in skin. It is activated by ultraviolet rays and become cholecalciferol. Cholecalciferol is converted to 25-hydroxycholecalciferol by a liver enzyme known as 25-hydroxylase. This 25-hydroxycholecalciferol then becomes 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol with the help of a renal enzyme known as 1-alpha-hydroxylase. 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol is also known as calcitriol which is the active form of vitamin D. So vitamin D is formed by an intermediate of cholesterol present in the skin known as 7-dehydrocholesterol. The third process is the synthesis of steroid hormones from cholesterol. Cholesterol serve as a precursor for the synthesis of all five classes of steroid hormones which are glucocorticoids for example cortisol, mineralocorticoids for example aldosterone, progestin for example progesterone, androgen like testosterone and estrogen like estradiol. So cholesterol act as a precursor for the synthesis of three important compounds which are the bile acids, vitamin D and steroid hormones. This is all about the degradation of cholesterol. If you have any query feel free to ask. Thank you so much.